speculate in a sense, you know what I mean, I mean, you, you figured it, it, it all started with a marker, okay, so, in this day and age, we're not talking about Kilroy, right. we're not talking about the 17th century, okay, we're talking about the 20th century and the 1960s, so to speak, and, and, and everything else I'm not even going to elaborate on, I don't know, that's not my... As, as you know it. Okay, as far as like uh, people riding on the trains and riding in the subways and stuff like that, uh... We can just go with the flow of what we read because to a certain degree some of it's true. You had Tacky, you had Julio, who Tacky more or less himself said he got the idea from. But you figure you had the Magic Markers and from the Magic Markers. Uh, a lot of stuff that was written with Markers, eventually the idea got went into, went into spray paint. Definitely the influence was Manhattan and Brooklyn. Then it went to spray paint and, you know, we can speculate who, who started with the paint. School is always focusing on individuals and their accomplishments all the time. Okay, if you're going to speak history, you're going to speak culture, you're going to speak significance, tradition, a movement, then the people who are involved in that movement, who are most significant in that movement taking place, then the names in a sense are important, you know what I'm saying, just for historical value, you know, and uh, dates and times and even places, so to speak, with just those individuals to get for, the, for that credit to be due because it didn't come out of, out of, out of Claybrook Scott. I mean, if you played ball, if you were good, you had your own style, so on and so forth. So, writing was another outlet. There was something else to do for me. And the funny thing about it is just about everybody you knew did it. Everybody we hung out with wrote, okay? Not everybody that we knew, but everybody that we hung out with, everybody was a writer. So it's kind of weird, you know? I mean, even a lot of the guys that, 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 that MC and DJ now, they'll say, oh yeah, I used to write, but I didn't get around, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I didn't get up. So on and so forth. So, so uh, that's kind of you know that's kind of interesting in the sense to think that you know uh, somebody like Mel and Flash could say say yeah one time or another I wrote. You know I don't know if they, I don't know if they would admit it now. You know but I mean I, I've been with them and when they, when they said oh yeah before I knew you I remember, yeah I knew your name and yeah I used to do that. People don't think about people writing as far as like that movement. I'm not gonna say because people have always been writing throughout the 50s. You know and so on and so forth, but like I said, I'm just focusing on what we consider movement, and nobody looks at that as historical, having um, a, a foundation, you see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm saying when you start to talk to like younger guys, it's, it's all about bombing, getting the name of it, the so-called foundation and movement, it, it's, it's not evident to them because they haven't been there long enough, okay? So in that, in that respect, what, what we try to do is educate them to, to the fact that they're part of, of something historical, part of something significant, you know, even if you had to get into art, I mean, I just hate, I, I like to get the hell away from art, because before words like art, uh, so-called Africans, uh, uh, natives of places like Australia, so-called America, and, 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 and everywhere, else, Asia, all this, these people had their traditions before people started calling shit art, so in a sense, art is total, total bullshit, if you want to, if you want to elaborate on the word art, it's just, it's just nothing but a word because somebody threw it at, threw it into it at fact. You know, if you want to use the word artifact, you have all these cultural, all these things that are significant to a race, to a tribe, which is their life, their way of life. So somebody could say someone else's way of life is not an art form or something or other. You see what I'm saying? So for us, this is life, man. This is not uh, something for somebody to come and see. And, and who, give, who cares what other people think, so to speak, man? Because this is this belongs to us. The, the, uh, the rest of the world, the rest of society can either accept or reject it, but who the hell cares? It's ours, and it's, and it's for us, and this is why we did it, you understand? We didn't do it. I mean, if you think about so-called pottery, and all these things, even even masks, this, this is the people. And the people are 
being themselves and being the people. This all goes with, with their life, okay? So now it's in a museum somewhere, somebody's looking at, oh, that's beautiful. But it goes beyond all that, you know, regardless of how you want to look at it. When you start talking about creativity and, 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 um, and almost creating something from nothing, stuff like that, it's, it's totally different, man. You know, to, to, to make a pot when there was no such thing as a pot, man. To create a symbol when no such symbol existed, that's a totally different thing. Some say phase, we say passe. You can break it down and it can mean many things, you know. It does something. Like that. But it's just another extension of me, which is just a title and not a name. Okay, you know, the names to a degree are they're irrelevant in a sense because uh, there's an entity outside of the name. You know what I mean? So you got a thousand guys named John, we're all Johns in our life. So th so they to me names become irrelevant because why should five hundred people have the same name? I don't, I, I can't relate to that, okay? but um, uh, like I say, it's just an extension, and in a sense, it's, it's another level of consciousness. You know, it's, it's, the name, the two is not the second. It is, it is two as in uh, like forward. You know what I'm saying? The next, Four, another, two, going to beyond. Three. Okay, because you have uh, one. One is is, is, is is no degree, you know. I mean, it's just it's just a degree to itself. And two is the next degree. But in this sense, the meaning of, of two is above, and, and it's just a level of consciousness that just keeps going. You know, just like I won't wear um, certain jewelry that's supposed to be symbolic unless it's significant. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna wear. Um, I have to understand it. You know what I mean? I mean, like if I wear something on my neck, I can't just wear a medallion. And, and it doesn't mean something to me and about me, so to speak. So that's where I'm coming from. I'm like come, come from told, even with what I draw, in a sense, it's something spiritual, even if it's something simple, you know, like even cartooning, there's something that, that I get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like even the, my whole fascination with Japan and so forth, it goes beyond the cartoons and so on. It's, it's, the, it's the whole culture, the history, and all of that. But um, there is, I mean, maybe, uh, I probably was living in another life out there. So I can just relate to it in its language and its writing, like it's like it's a part of me. Well, a lot of things I do, I tend to believe that they they were they had to be there before this 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 particular entity phase two. You know, it just there's like 10 million reasons that people write. Okay, me in particular, I wrote because I wanted to do it, and I I became obsessed with it because. Um, there's just always different things to do with it, you know what I mean? Uh, write your name 10,000 times somewhere and doing it different, different styles and different ways. And it was, and the inspiration probably was, was Brooklyn and Manhattan, you know, for, for me, no question about it. And um, as I said before, before the Bronx, there was always um, Brooklyn and it was Manhattan. And uh, there's like different reasons that different things came about. You know, people, I think what's important that people know that it didn't just pop out of the clear sky. It didn't just start becoming uh, something semi-phenomenal in the 1980s. The foundation has been around since the 70s, and that's basically, the foundation for the 80s is basically, uh, the ground was laid in the 70s. So because of um, a lot of creative people you have, a, you have all these different things happening today, okay? Which doesn't mean, uh, there's no way you can compare 73 to 83, you know what I'm saying? You can't say one was better than the other, okay? Because like I said, 73 laid the ground for certain things that happened in 83. It, it couldn't possibly be at a level it is in Europe or even in New York without what came 10 years before it, okay? And that's something I think people don't understand. You know, there's a difference between Writer, old writers and writers who are pioneers and writers who have been writing for a long time, you know. You got writers who you can consider an old writer in the sense that the guy doesn't even, doesn't even pay anymore. He's at a standstill. This is where he started. This is where he stopped. And, and there's a difference between guys who are painting and still and still inspiring the art and still inspiring uh, the, the, the writing aspect of that because that's basically the only way you can probably inspire anybody. I mean, to a degree, when you start talking about uh, aerosol and writing and so on and so forth, because artists are artists, so a guy who can paint, he can paint, you know, I mean, as far as like, uh, not even really inspire, but to um, almost motivate somebody 
to pick up on something. You know what I'm saying? And that comes with with, with just those who are creative because if you see something you never saw before, you're like, wow. And you start to, to pick up on it and copy it and maybe change it around because because writing it's just another aspect of like the whole aerosol thing, you know what I'm saying? When you start talking about aerosol, you got guys with bomb trains, you got stylists, you got guys that just draw, you know, and then you got guys that just write their names or signatures. So it's like, it's almost like somebody says uh, literature. And it's, and it's vast, you see. And uh, everybody can't really relate to all those things because some guys just want to go out there and paint trains, man. They don't care about all of that, which is cool, but I think the, 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 the general public People in general, people all over the world, need to know that it does go beyond that. Man. If you have freedom of speech, you have all these blank walls, what's the big deal? Okay, writing on churches and writing on uh, people's houses and stuff like that, I mean, it's just like somebody doesn't know how to play a sport and breaks all the rules or something or other unintentionally or maybe they just don't care. When I went out there and painted trains, man, I figured like, look, it's supposed to be against a law, but... I mean, it's, it's like the least crime I, that I can do, you know, and I'm enjoying it, a thousand other guys are enjoying it, and, and we're escaping a lot of other things that we can do that are negative, you know. The South Bronx, whatever has become the South Bronx, which was not always the South Bronx, you have to remember, even 12 years ago, it was not what it is, okay? So, some kid who was 12 then, who was 24 now, did not have the life that a kid is having now that is 12, and some kid who was, 12 prior to that, who was 12 in 1967. The negativity is right there in front of you. As soon as you step outside in the street, there's a bullet flying, there's somebody in the corner selling drugs, there's a dead body over here, and you see this all the time, right? You see despair, you see people sleeping on the streets. If you're a kid and you grow up and you're taught differently, you know, okay, you say, hey, that's never gonna be me. But I'm just saying, all of this, like, negativity is all around you, man. You know what I mean? When I stepped out of the house, I wasn't depressed. I don't know if a kid 10 years old no, understands what it is to be depressed, man. I think when you see something that is on like one level and it starts to, start to deteriorate, you could become depressed, man. You know, I don't know if a kid now, kids don't see a lot of things around them. You know what I'm saying? Until it's like right in front of them, here, boom, somebody gets shot and the guy's laid out like this. And you're wondering why. When we were kids, and, you, and, and this is like my mother and her mother's mother and mother, mother telling them the same thing. So you see like even the... I think even life has been devaluated now. How people look at how people look at life in general. A person's life, man. You know, everybody just cares about themselves. You know, it's not it's not total, but it's too much of it. Like we had crews, man. Everybody was down together. You see what I mean? Cruise. What was you had it? Ebony what was Dukes. It? You had ex Vandals. You had War. You had Independence. Explain what a crew. We had is. all these different writing groups of like writers who were supposed to be top notch writers. You know what I mean? Uh, TMB, all this different stuff, but everybody, everybody got along, you know. It wasn't like rivalries, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was like a thing where even, even the guys you didn't know, man, if, they, if their names got up, man, you just respected them, man. That's what it was. All, I mean, that's where I think like a sport, because in a, in a sense, writing is a sport. Once the fun is gone out of it, you know, it's, it's useless, man. You know, if you can't enjoy it anymore, especially as a team, that's the first thing I think that happens, you know. And then if you can't enjoy it as an individual, to me it's pointless, man, you know. And, it, and, it, and I think you do it in a sense, you have to appreciate it first, but when other people can appreciate it, I think it's like, it's like the reward, you know what I mean? It's the coup de grace, you know. Say, oh man, this guy, oh man, I, I, this, this can sit there and really appreciate what you, what you put down there, you know. But I think you have to kind of be able to know where you stand also, you know, because I would never let, I would never let like the so-called world of, uh, of, of writers judge me, you know what I'm saying? I, I could say I'm above that, so they can think whatever they want to. There's no way in the world. I've been around too long, and I think I understand the dynamics of it. If I just have to get to a style that, that, that no one can really say to me, well, you know, oh, so on, so on, so forth. Because, you know, in a sense, none of it, nobody makes the rules, but it's, the rules make themselves. Hip-hop is hip-hop. Aerosol is aerosol, writing is writing, breaking is breaking. So hip, -hop hip hop is in a class all by itself, man. What's hip hop? Hip hop has always been music, which is which is really music that's always been with us. That was a, and it's derivative, really, which is R and B, soul, sort of like you could say blues and jazz and all those things, and and, it, and it's, it's derivative, the beat, the rhythm, the music, and. Um, 
in, in voiceover, so to speak, and talking over the music. And that's what hip hop has always been. And hip hop has always been that and only that. With And it came to be also DJs creating different types of ways to play on turntables and such and such. And I was a part of that and am to a certain degree a part of that. I, I played records. I've been around since that all started. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, hip hop is really scratching and rapping and, and cutting the beats, man. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's got nothing to do with the writing. No, I mean, except for that all these things exist in the community. You know what I mean? Like, And the people who do it all exist. In the, in the community, man, you know, but uh, for anybody who's a part of it to sit there and tell you, they, they could say it has become it to a certain extent, but technically it has nothing to do with it. It was made to be that way, and not by the people who did it, but other people on the outside, okay? Anybody who, well, okay, uh, people wrote the books, okay? I mean, I think when Rosa Blue and Steve Hager, who, who I think who was, who's really dedicated to it, okay, that's one of the few people who was really serious about it. When they started to put all these things together, say hip hop, uh, the, 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 a book on rapping, breaking, and quote unquote, scribble scrabble, that all these things became one. When you had parties at the Roxy, all these things became one. When, when uh, and, and so forth, because of all these things evolving around each other, but didn't exist because of one another, you see what I'm saying? Uh, uh, writing is writing without dancing, without, you know, and dancing has always been here. Break dancing is just another form of dancing, man, you know, which, which I mean, we really, they're technical, we've been dancing before we got off the boat and so on and so forth, so it's no different. I think just because people, it, it, it got public, and public is so to speak into this society, and people start to, to, be, to, to uh, make a big deal out of it, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, that's not hip hop, man. you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, if you want to think about it, let's get 20 flyers, and where on a flyer does it say, or in any of those parties? I think the only place maybe is Bronx River. I mean, after the fact, you know, some Bram and a few other guys are broken and painted the center, okay? But it doesn't it doesn't say hip-hop is right. Before you get a chance to even elaborate on yourself, to evaluate yourself, to summarize yourself, someone who has nothing to do with you, already has evaluated it for you, okay? Spell to up. sit there and say, the South Bronx is like little Nicaragua without you even coming in here and meeting the people and talking to the people and seeing what other things are going on besides people getting shot up, okay? You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's like the same thing, all right? I think it was appropriate at one time because all it was was just writing on walls. What was appropriate? Uh, to say it is graffiti, so to speak. It's like this. We we've, we've always been writers, and, and uh, I think people should go back to their roots, man. Yeah. Because if you don't re if you don't start to reevaluate and assess the fact that the whole movement exists and has been become interesting because of our um, creativity with with aerosol, then I don't think it, I don't think it will ever. Matter of fact, it will never get its rightful place in history, so to speak, okay? People will never relate to it as, as um, on a creative level that it's on, you know what I mean? Something totally new has been, been brought into our society, a, a new use of, the, of, the, of something so primitive. You know, spray can, all you did was something like, you know, you painted a wall, you painted your chairs with it and stuff like that. And, and I think that's more significant than anything else, all right? And so, respect due to those who don't like to be called artists, because I can relate to that, but I say, Aerosol is is your foundation. Aerosol is like your own is everything that this is, so to speak. You know, but like I said, I'll always be a writer. Okay. But 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 I'm many other things besides that, you know. But to sit there and say uh graffiti is is it's, it's just retarded because uh painting a mural that has no writing on it and someone gives you the permission to do it. Where does, where does the word graffiti even fit in? You see what I'm saying? So the word has been blown out of proportion and it is a substitute for all the many other things that, have, that, have, it, that uh, has gone above it. You see what I'm saying? It's just a substitute now, but people are in, uh, uh, can relate to it because that's what they always call it. But it's like being called a jackass or a nigger and say, hey, I've been called a nigger all my life. That's, that's what I see graffiti as to me because what, what, what I've been doing even 
15 years ago surpassed what, what they called graffiti. Who's they? Okay, with, 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 with the media and those who gave it the name. Was, we didn't give it that name, we just took, we just accepted it. There's no question about that. So, so idiots want to sit there and say it's always been that way. They don't know what they're talking about because it was not always that way. We called ourselves writers and said, I'm going hitting, I'm going bombing, I'm going piecing. We call, we call our work masterpieces. We didn't call it graffiti, okay? So regardless how you want to look at it, even when graffiti artists was acceptable to some who have awakened from that, from that, uh, you know, from that nonsense, they didn't call what they did graffiti. You see what I'm saying? People just said, oh, you're a graffiti writer, so on and so forth, okay? Which is, I do graffiti. You know, I do masterpieces, you see what I'm saying? Now it's like, oh, you're doing graffiti? And, it's, and it doesn't even make any sense anymore to say somebody who's always been an artist is doing graffiti when, 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 when in fact he's not writing, he's not scribbling, <laughs> he's not scratching, you know? And, 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 and scratching is graffiti. You know, when I would say it's not even graffiti, it's graffiti. It's, it's just it's just retarded, man. You know, I mean, it's too. It's it's really it's like an elementary school uh, definition, an elementary school appropriation for something technological. That's that's exactly what it is. Because regardless to how you want to look at it, it doesn't appropriate where the, the level that the art has been on for the last 16 years. So you, you shouldn't question whether whether you're an artist or not. Because I, I think, in, in essence, everyone on the planet is an artist. Everyone who renders, who, who, everyone active is an artist, man. If you think about it, walking is an art. Everyone has their own way of walking. Everyone has their own way of talking, you know. Everyone has their own way of writing and doing, you see. So, art is life, man.